This is the TX 3300S reel to reel. Today we're going to be doing the calibration on the unit. Uh, we're going to start out with the output specified level adjustment. To do that, we're going to be using the TX test tape and we're going to be adjusting the outputs on, on this board. Uh, so it's middle to uh, potentiometers. And we're going to be monitoring that uh, reading on this ferrograph test set. Uh, the uh, manual calls for a, a neg 2 dB signal when the output levels are set to maximum and we play the test tape at seven and a half inches per second so as we play it with seven and a half inches per second right now we can see that the reading is really close to neg 2 dB really close so we're just going to adjust the we'll start with the right channel And this this guy here. Okay, we're gonna bring it down to neg two dB. Okay, that's good. I want to rewind the tape a little bit. It's a short tape. Change the uh, lead over to the left channel. Okay, I'm going to press play on the tape deck. And this is zero dB. We need to bring that down to uh, neg two also. Okay, we're good. Okay, and next we're supposed to uh, move the output jack to uh, approximately two o'clock. And as we play the tape, uh, we should have an eight or neg eight dB reading at our meter. So we're still connected to the left channel. So we'll just look for a for a neg eight dB signal when we press play. Okay, that's it. Looks like about neg 10, so we need to bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna rewind the tape. Okay, we'll start with the, uh, with the left channel. Press play. And looks like we're about neg 10, so we need to bring it up a couple of dB to neg 8. Okay. Now we'll check the right channel. Okay, we'll press play. We need to bring it down a little also, or up a little bit also. Okay, sense. All right. Now both the left and the right channels are properly set. Okay, moving right along. Our next test is uh, after we've done those first two alignments, we want to set the VU meter to the right calibration so we want it to read 0 dB at the present setting using the same test tape and uh, having the output set at uh, 2 o'clock it should be right at 0 dB it's almost there we're going to give it a little uh, tweak on both channels to get them right at 0 we'll start with the right channel Okay. 
that sounds okay. This thing's real touchy. Back up a little bit. Okay. And now both of the meters are calibrated. And if you've done that, you don't want to mess with the uh, the output level anymore as we're going through the rest of the calibration process. Okay, it was kind of hard to finagle with one hand and holding the camera in the other hand, but we have it at, uh, that's a neg 8 dB signal uh, at the output jack for the uh, minimum line input level settings. And next we'll uh, do the view, view meter level set adjustment. Okay, the next step is to uh, adjust the view meter level set. For that, we need to set our O scope, or excuse me, our oscillator to uh, neg 8 dB. And we'll adjust VR 302 and 305. That's, uh, I think it's these guys. These two. Uh, to make the V meters read 0 dB. Zero DP. So it's being really sensitive. Okay, and the other channel. This would be a lot more easy with the tripod. Okay, so now we have them both set for a uh, left and the right channel step for 0 dB and we'll move on to the next step okay okay the last step of these preliminary adjustments is to uh, set the specified input levels uh, to the to the right settings uh, to do that we're going to use that same neg 8 dB signal that we have coming into the unit we want to monitor the output of the the uh, 3300s to make sure that it's putting out exactly what we're putting into it so we're gonna we're gonna uh, move the input on this meter from the uh, monitoring the oscillator to monitoring the input and we see that the reading is um, plus 2 DB and we're gonna bring that all the way down to neg 8 DB to do that we'll adjust the uh, line control knob on the TAC until we read negate dB on the uh, on the meter. So we'll bring it down to approximately there. And we can see that our line level is approximately at two o'clock and that's that's a good reading. Okay, and once we get those set, we don't want to mess with the output or the input knobs. As we're doing the rest of the uh, adjustment, all the other calibration will come from the from the boards. Okay, our next step is the uh, biased uh, adjustment. We're going to start with the normal position first. We have a Scotch 150 uh, tape loaded, and we're recording on that uh, tape. <coughs> we're sending in a, a neg 8 dB signal into the unit, and we're monitoring the output. And what we're going to look for is the uh, signal to reach its highest point and once we adjust uh, we're gonna start with the VR or this is a variable capacitor let's see yes VC 404 once we've adjusted that to its maximum level 
we're going to continue to turn it clockwise until uh, it whatever reading it settles on. We're going to drop it uh, 0.5 dB. Okay, so we'll begin. We'll turn the light down a little bit. See, so see the meter a little better. Okay, so I'm going to begin cranking this uh, this uh, capacitor here. It's a variable capacitor until we find what the highest and lowest levels are. Okay, that's bringing it down. So we're going to turn it and try to find the hinge point to where it reaches its maximum level. Okay, it's about right there. So now we're going to continue to uh, turn it clockwise until the signal drops 0.5 dB. Right now we're about one and almost a half, so we're going to bring it down to about two deep, neg two dB. Maybe a little bit past there. Okay, that's good for the right channel. We're going to do the same thing on the left channel. Again, this is setting the bias, and that's the amount of energy that's printed onto the tape. I'm going to check the left channel. Okay, and again, we're going to go through the same process. We're going to find the, the hinge point as we crank this thing down and up. So we're going to go back the other way. And we're just looking for that hinge point to where it maxes out. Looks like about right there at neg two and a half dB. So we're going to bring it down to, I guess, around neg three dB, or a little bit past there. That's about half dB. Okay, so that, that sets the... Uh, Okay, I accidentally cut off the last video. Before. What I was saying was that we've got both of those levels calibrated for the Scotch 150 tape. Now we've changed the tape over to a Scotch 203 tape. That's a high bias tape. And we set the EQ switch for, uh, for high bias. And uh, we're going to do the same adjustment on the, on the TX uh, 3300S. And the uh, adjustments for this one are VR402, excuse me, 401 and 403. It's these guys. And we're going to be looking for the same, uh, same characteristics on the, uh, on the multimeter. Okay, we're going to begin with the left channel. Top one. Again, we're just looking for the hinge point to begin with. Okay, so looks like it's right at neg four dB. So we're going to come down to uh, neg four point five. And now we'll do the right channel. Again, this is using a high bias tape, uh, Scotch 203. I think any of the 200 series tapes are going to be okay with the high bias settings. The right channel. Again, we're going to be looking for the hinge point and then continue. Uh, The adjustment till us point five dB increases it decreased. Again, I'm having trouble holding the camera and doing the adjustment at the same time. But here we go. Okay, and we'll bring it up as high as we can. Two, one, negative one and a half, or no, excuse me, like two and a half, two and three quarters, almost three. So we'll bring it up to down to neck three and a half, close to four.
All right, and that concludes the uh, bias portion of the calibration. Next, we're going to move on to the the record head azimuth adjustment. Okay, uh, this is the uh, head alignment uh, adjustment. This is we're going to monitor first the uh, the input coming in. This is the signals coming in. It's a 400 hertz tone, uh, and we're going to be recording. We're going to be adding these two signals together. And uh, what we should see is a like a 45 degree angle on the screen. It's probably not going to show up too good because of this uh, phone, this camera I'm using. But you should get an idea. Uh, this is what's coming into the unit, and this is the actual recording. Again, it's just a sine wave on the left, left, and the right channels. I'm going to add those two signals together, and we get our. Uh, the 45 degree. If it were, <clears throat> excuse me. Yes, kind of intense, but uh, uh, the thing is, we want the signal to read that 45 degree angle. If this tells us that the left and right channels are in in phase, if they were out of phase, I'm going to move the tape a little bit off the record head, and uh, you'll see it open up into an oval. That means one of the channels is misaligned, but Again, this is the, the way it looks, and this it's a good signal. So that tells you that the that the record head is in alignment with the playback head, because this is the output of the unit. We've got that 400 hertz tone coming into the machine, and this is the this is the uh, signal that we have going out. And that little uh, variation that you see with the signal that's just the uh, the beauty of analog. Okay, we're going to finish up with the uh, record level set adjustment. We have a neg 8 dB signal coming from the oscillator into the uh, into the TAC. We're going to monitor the output of the TAC to get the same signal that we. This is the oscillator's output, okay, and this is the uh, output of the unit, and they need to be both at neg 8 dB. Right now, we're monitoring the left signal, left channel. And this right at neg 8 dB, so that's that's good. We'll monitor the right one. That's around neg 10, so we need to bring them up to neg 8 dB. And the adjustment is right here, VR 304 and 306. So we're going to bring them up to uh, neg 8 dB. And this is to make sure that what we the level we record at is equal to what what we're getting into the machine okay and and again we're using the uh we're back to using the uh, scotch 150 tape that's the low bias tape and we have our settings set for a uh, regular bias normal bias okay and that concludes the uh alignment portion of the of the uh 3300s i'm going to put uh some music to it so we can actually hear what we've been working on Okay, we're going to be recording a song from an MP3 player. Again, you can just use just about any source to uh, record on these things from. Get the level up a little bit. That's, this is the input coming into the machine. This is the actual recording. Okay, so far so good. I still have a few adjustments and uh, mechanical adjustments to do this to this unit. The uh, pinch rollers uh, stuck, so we need to free that up and uh, do a couple of things inside the machine. But as far as the the uh, calibration of the the uh, record levels and playback levels on the machine, uh, this unit is 
think it's going to be okay, and we'll give it a full demonstration uh, shortly.